So was the First Minister aware that an SNP-run council was considering such a drastic cut in teacher numbers? First Minister. Uh, firstly, Presiding Officer, this of course is that time of year uh, when we get lots of reports about savings options that different councils are considering and opposition parties quite understandably make hay with that, but very often these proposals do not proceed. And I think the official report of this Parliament will be littered of example, with examples of what I've just uh, spoken about. In terms of these particular proposals, I've not seen the detail of these. Uh, councils, of course, are autonomous in their areas of responsibility, something uh, that parties across this chamber often call on the Scottish Government to respect. But as my record shows, and indeed as my government's uh, funding to councils demonstrates, uh, I am in favour of more teachers, not fewer teachers. <coughs> Douglas Ross. Well, the First Minister's record is 900 fewer teachers in Scotland, so I'm not sure how her rhetoric matches uh, her record. And she's, she's saying, I, I'm standing here making hate. No, I'm not. I'm deeply worried that one of the biggest councils in Scotland is considering 800 teachers being lost. If Glasgow City Council went ahead with that, it would re reduce school staff by 15%. One in seven teachers in Glasgow would be lost. And we've heard reports that SNP-run East Ayrshire Council is also considering cutting teachers. East Renfrewshire is contemplating very serious cuts to education. This is what happens when the SNP don't properly fund councils. It wastes taxpayers' money on ferries that don't float and other pet projects instead of providing Scottish education and Scottish schools with the support they need. So will the First Minister tell us, if she's listening to the questions, will the First Minister tell us, as a result of her budget choices and costly mistakes, how many teachers are going to lose their jobs in Scotland? First Minister. Well, I'll come on to uh, my government's budget choices in a moment, but let me issue, uh, with the case of respect to Douglas Ross, I'll, I'll answer Let's the Let's hear the First Minister, please. Um, and I'll answer the questions uh, fully. But firstly, on the uh, general issue, I know, and we've seen this week, that Douglas Ross favours riding roughshod over the decisions and powers of democratically elected institutions. Members, I, on the other hand, members, thank you, respect the autonomy of democratically elected institutions. But to come to budget choices, let me set out the budget choices of this government. In this financial year, 2022-23, uh, uh, this government provided £145 million pounds of additional funding to local authorities to employ up to 2,400 more teachers and 500 more classroom assistants. Uh, that funding, of course, is being protected in the budget that we have put forward for the next financial year. Um, and, of course, overall, we are increasing the resources available to councils by over £570 million. That's a real terms increase of £160.6 uh, million. So there's the budget choices of this government, presiding officer. Uh, had we followed the advice, of course, of the Conservatives, we wouldn't be able to do all of that because we'd have cut taxes for the very richest people in the country. 